The USCAA National Basketball Championships are coming to Penn State Fayette the Eberle campus on February the 26th. For Penn State Fayette and its peer institutions, it's the big showdown of the season. The event will feature four tournaments in men's and women's basketball. As the host campus, Penn State's teams receive an automatic bid, but the Roaring Lions are still working just as hard. We, we have decided our, amongst the kids is we try not to get the host bid. We try to win it so we can get there on our own. I can't say enough good things about the group of guys that we have right now and the effort they put forth and the time that they put in the summer and off season, weight training, getting in the gym and shooting on their own. You know, it, it's, we like to motivate, but when you got guys that want to be motivated, it makes it a whole lot easier. Penn State Fayette has been the host of the USCAA's premier championship for five years. Coaches and players agree that having the tournament at Penn State has been a great recruiting tool. That national tournament uh, was a big reason that Brandon had decided to come from Rancho Cucamonga, and it's a big reason that Spencer Perrieff and Luke Williams came from Hawaii, and a big reason that Darius Mack came from Washington, D.C., and we have some kids coming in from Minnesota. We have a kid coming in from San Diego for the tournament, and we're going to bring back some of our local recruits for the tournament to give them, again, that, that eye-opener of what it's like to play basketball at that next level. Oh, it's been a great recruiting tool for us, too, because we bring kids in from eight to ten different counties now and they see what's happening here as the growth of the national tournament and it makes them more excited to be a part of it. When um, I came for the national tournament I fell in love you know my teammates they were um, real great when I came out showed me good hospitality and I just really enjoyed it. So. The Roaring Lions say the facilities at Penn State Fayette are second to none a location worthy of the national championships. <laughs> the facilities here are amazing we no matter where we play, we always come back here to the best facility, probably for any small college, probably in a three-state area. You know, this, this facility is by far the best and the nicest, the, you know, the biggest USCA tournament. They have other people that come here, they say this is probably one of the best courts they've ever played on. The Penn State men are scheduled to play Wednesday the 27th at 8 o'clock in the evening, and it will be a chance for them to put their team chemistry into action. They're quick to tell you that this chemistry exists both on and off the court. The guys here, they're very, they're very good. Um, they helped me become who I am today. So The guys, we all hang out together at all times, and we do everything together. And uh, that means a lot to me. That means more than any championship could ever mean. Us being so much as a close-knit family off the court helps us on the court. The women's team will play at 6 in the evening on Thursday the 28th. It's a team that has made great strides over the past several years. Well, it, it's been a growing process. We started six years ago from nothing to where we are now. And it's been amazing. Like I said, we came from nothing. We, I think we had like four wins maybe, and that was huge for us. And then winning the championship, like you said, that was just a huge turning point for this program. It all comes down to this, the national championships. And our hometown team is excited to be on the big stage. Whenever the, the bigger schools come here for the USCA National Tournament, they can walk in and you hear them say, wow. Um, it's been a really fun ride for us to, to have the USCA be here and for us to be part of it every year. For Steve Suprick, Brian Morozak, Fayette TV.